So the market right now is in a very low VIX, low volatile situation, which means that if you're looking for follow through and you're trying to avoid chop, that's going to be a difficult thing to do. On an everyday basis, just waking up and focusing on names that aren't in play and don't have a technical catalyst, there is not going to be a lot of follow through. A lot of failed moves to the upside and the downside, very back and forth. And regardless of what you trade, shares or options, it makes trading that much more difficult. So I'm making sure that I'm adjusting slightly. I know I talked about the NVIDIA split, no longer trading NVIDIA options. I know that I mentioned the Uber, the breaking news trade setup, which worked really well. So that is one of the setups that I'm focusing on, but there are also a few others. The one that I'm going to be highlighting today is the tight consolidation daily range break. This does not happen often, but when it does, these setups can be fantastic. And I like to day trade these. I'm not a swing trader. I don't hold for hours. I am a scalper. But when these setups confirm, they can have really big moves and extracting that alpha incredibly quickly. And if you haven't watched the video, go back to my channel library and look at the intraday breaking new setup that I talked about on Uber that happened during the day when it said they lost the lawsuit and I got a nice short on that. So that's going to be one of the setups that I've already highlighted. And today I'm going to go over the tight consolidation daily range break on Tesla. And then when one of these setups happens and I trade it, I will go over these as well. But right now, let's just focus on the daily range break. And this was such a good setup. I think it worked really well because of consolidation. Consolidation is key. It's one thing if you just try to trade breaks, you know, looking for prior day high, prior day low, just not a lot of consolidation going on. The follow through isn't really going to be there. But when Tesla goes sideways for this many weeks and then it finally breaks the range, there is going to be a move, whether it was to the upside or the downside. Doesn't really matter to me. I'm just waiting for a break. And then when it does break, it's a break of major consolidation support. And then I'm looking for a continuation pattern after that break. So I think the key with this is the nuances in between. Look at this big breakout candle above 180. This was a nice tight consolidation daily range break. I actually traded this, got a little move above 180, and then it was a failed breakout. So think about how many people were stuck long in this candle. And then there were a couple days, even about a week later, where it looked like Tesla wanted to get back over 180 for a possible move to the upside, and it just trapped new longs. So you had a lot of players in here. You had a lot of traders, position traders, whatever it may be, you just got to think of both sides of the market trying to position to the long side, thinking that Tesla was going to see higher prices, and then maybe people trying to short it, anticipating a potential breakdown, and it just not getting a lot of follow through. So you have that frustration. You have that pent up frustration, and then you have that compression. So once it chooses a side, that's where it can have that outlier move. And once it breaks support on volume, that's going to catch my attention immediately. And then I'm just thinking about waiting for the continuation pattern and focusing to the downside because I like to go with the short-term trend. I don't like to buy dips and try to find bottoms. I don't like to short pops and try to find tops. I want support to break like this did and then just wait for the consolidation, continuation pattern and hop on board. But the most important part of the setup is that it consolidated sideways for as long as it did. If it was only a couple days and then it broke to the upside or the downside, the move is just not gonna be as powerful. It's that clear sideways consolidation, regardless of what the name is, that is gonna make this setup so much better. But anytime I see a stock that's trading sideways like this and then it breaks support, I don't care what the name is, as long as it trades elevated volume, I'll take this trade 100% of the time. And this is obviously a support breakdown, a daily range support breakdown, but it can go the other way too. Flip Tesla upside down, it can be a daily range resistance breakout. Whether it be to the upside or the downside, it doesn't really matter. It's just knowing that that compression is creating power. And when one side wins, that move is going to be big. So now we know the setup and here's proof that I actually traded it. I'm not just talking about this in theory. I put risk on, took the trade and got a nice move. I took a couple trades today. I tried Lily short FSLR on a possible range break to the upside. Didn't really work out. So I ended up stopping out. And then once I saw Tesla break major support, it was on my radar. So I ended up making $2,677 on the Tesla break after the loss on FSLR and basically the flat trade on LOI up 1730 on the day. So a solid day. So there's proof that I actually traded this. I'm not just highlighting a setup that I don't take and I missed. I got a piece of this. So now let's break down the two minute intraday chart. So nobody knew that it was gonna be this aggressive of a down move, but I have the level marked on my chart as a red line to the downside, 
just letting me know that if it breaks this, that would be a major support break to the downside. The red level above this is prior day low. So we have prior day low and then 172, really big area of support. If we break that support, look out below, I'm looking for continuation. So what happened off the open? We had a two minute green candle push and then we did a two minute range break. We went from very slightly green to red on the day and look at the size of this downside candle, blew right through prior day low as if it wasn't even there and then got a little bit of a bounce and immediately broke that 172. So when I saw that candle break below that 172, I knew this is a massive support break. Now let's wait for some consolidation and my expectations is for some continuation. Remember, I'm just a scalper, so I'm not getting the whole move. I could always do a better job at holding for more, but I got a piece of it, so I'm happy about that. So we get this big drive lower, we get a break of major daily range support, and then what's it do? it forms a bear flag. So it's not just a bear flag. The context of the bear flag is important. I like bear flags once they have broken major support or vice versa. Bull flags once they've broken major resistance, not simply just because it's a bear flag. That's gonna lead to a lot of chop and not a lot of follow through. So it's all about the context of it. And once it broke that 172, I got the green light that if there's any sort of consolidation below that level, and there is a bear flag, I'm gonna take advantage of it. So we ended up consolidating a little bit. I ended up actually going short just before the bear flag break, got in like right here off this wick. So we wicked up, started to roll over. I ended up taking the 170 puts. I sized up on this because I thought it was a good setup. I took 50 contracts. And once I was in this, just staying below that 172, knowing that it broke major support, looking for the bear flag continuation. And then on this 946 AM candle, that is when we broke the low of the bear flag, also 170, whole number. We cleared that out like it wasn't even there and got some nice follow through to the downside. And it's one of my top daily chart patterns that I'm gonna be looking for every single day in a low VIX environment because it has a much higher probability of follow through. And that's exactly what you need in the current market environment because if you don't wait for those very specific setups to happen and you're just trading names randomly every single day, you are gonna get very chopped up. So that was a very good example of the daily range break setup on Tesla and how I traded it. That's it for the video. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you later.